Hi there, welcome to my channel. Wherever you are in the world, I wish you enjoy learning English. Without further ado, let's jump into today's content. Excuse me, my name is Richard Anderson. I'm a photographer. Would you mind if I snapped a photo of you and your little boy? What's the photo for? It's for a project. Are you working on something specific? Yes, I'm compiling a collection of photos. I call it family album. Oh, that sounds interesting. Sure, you can take our picture. Thank you so much. I appreciate your cooperation. I'm Richard. What are your names? I'm Martha Van. This little rascal here is Gerald. How old is Gerald? He's five. And where are you folks from? We're from California. Well, welcome to New York. Thanks. It's nice to be here. Have you been to New York before? No, it's our first time. We're here for a vacation. That sounds like fun. What have you enjoyed most so far? We loved seeing the Statue of Liberty yesterday. Gerald couldn't stop talking about it. It's quite impressive, isn't it? Did you take lots of pictures? Oh, yes. We have a whole camera roll dedicated to it. That's great. You'll have plenty of memories to take back to California. Definitely. How about you, Richard? Do you live in New York? Yes, I do. I've been here for about five years now. What brought you here? I came for work initially, but I fell in love with the city and decided to stay. That's wonderful. What kind of photography do you specialize in? I mainly focus on capturing everyday moments and people. I find them to be the most authentic. That sounds lovely. Do you have any favorite spots in the city for taking pictures? Oh, there are so many. Central Park is always a favorite, especially in the fall. Central Park is beautiful. We're planning to visit there tomorrow. You'll have a great time. There are so many photo opportunities. I'm looking forward to it. Gerald loves nature, so I'm sure he'll enjoy it too. Absolutely. It's a fantastic place for kids to explore. Speaking of exploring, do you have any recommendations for family-friendly restaurants? Yes, there are plenty around. One of my favorites is a little Italian place not too far from here. That sounds perfect. We'll have to check it out. Definitely. I hope you enjoy your time in New York. Thank you, Richard. And thanks again for taking our picture. It was my pleasure, Martha. Have a wonderful day. You too, Richard. Goodbye. Goodbye, Martha. Take care. The first conversation is over and we will dive into the next one. Pardon me, officer. Could you possibly lend me a hand? Absolutely. What do you need? I'm trying to find my way to Wall Street in New York. You need to catch the number three subway line. Is there a subway station close by? Yes, there's a station just a few blocks down the street. Thank you. Could you also tell me how many stops it is to Wall Street? It's about eight stops from here. Got it? Thanks. Do you know if there are any landmarks I should look out for along the way? Well, you'll pass by Times Square and then it's a straight shot down to Wall Street. Great. That's helpful. Is the subway easy to navigate? It's pretty straightforward, just make sure you're headed downtown. Understood. Is Wall Street a busy area? Very busy, especially during rush hour. I'll keep that in mind. Are there any attractions I shouldn't miss while I'm there? The New York Stock Exchange is a must-see if you're interested in finance. Sounds fascinating. Thank you for the recommendation. No problem. Enjoy your time in New York. I will. Thanks again for your help. Anytime. Take care. The second conversation is over, and we will dive into the next one. Hey, Richard, would you like some coffee or tea? Coffee, please. I can hardly contain my excitement. By this time tomorrow morning, Grandpa will be right here with us in the kitchen. What time is he arriving? 
He's scheduled to arrive at six o'clock this evening. I can't wait to see him. It's been so long since we last met. Yeah, it's been ages. Do you remember the last time he visited? It must have been at least two years ago. Time really flies. I hope he enjoys his stay this time. I'm sure he will. He always loves spending time with us. Remember the last time he visited? He told us so many fascinating stories about his travels. Yeah, his stories are always so captivating. I could listen to them for hours. I wonder if he'll bring us any souvenirs this time. I wouldn't be surprised. He always brings back the most interesting gifts. I hope he's not too tired from his journey when he arrives. Yeah, traveling can be exhausting, especially for someone his age. Maybe we should prepare something special for dinner to welcome him. That's a great idea. How about we make his favorite dish? Perfect! I'll make sure to buy all the ingredients we need. And I'll help you with the cooking. It'll be a nice surprise for him. I'm sure he'll appreciate the gesture. He always enjoys homemade meals. Do you think he'll want to rest as soon as he arrives, or would he prefer to catch up with us? Knowing him, he'll probably want to chat for a bit before retiring to bed. In that case, we should make sure everything is ready for him when he gets here. Agreed. I'll tidy up the guest room and make sure he has everything he needs. And I'll make sure the living room is comfortable for us to sit and talk. I can't wait to hear about all his adventures since we last saw him. Me too. I'm sure he'll have plenty of stories to tell. It's going to be so nice having him here with us again. Definitely. Family time is always the best time. Speaking of which, we should also plan some activities to do together while he's here. How about we go for a hike in the woods? He always enjoys being in nature. That sounds like a wonderful idea. I'll make sure to check the weather forecast. And I'll pack some snacks for us to enjoy along the way. It's going to be so much fun. I can't wait for him to arrive. Yeah, it's going to be a weekend to remember for sure. I'll put on a pot of coffee now so we can have a nice hot cup ready for him when he gets here. That's a great idea. I'm sure he'll appreciate the gesture. I just hope the traffic isn't too bad for him on his way here. Yeah, let's keep our fingers crossed for smooth travels. In the meantime, is there anything else we need to do to prepare for his arrival? I think we've covered everything. Now we just have to wait eagerly for him to walk through that door. I can already imagine the look of surprise on his face when he sees us. It's going to be priceless. I'm so excited to see him again. Me too. This is going to be the best weekend ever. Absolutely. I can't wait to catch up and spend quality time with him. That's all today's content. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more helpful content. Good luck on your English language learning journey.